Well, the issues on the Red Lake Reservation in northern Minnesota have been well documented. There is poverty, crime, unemployment, and low graduation rates. But there's also a young woman there who has been a source of a lot of hope, as David McCoy shows us. She does it by playing basketball. You could start with her averaging 23 points, 14 rebounds, 8 assists, and 3 steals a game. Or her more than 2,000 points and 1,000 rebounds in her high school career. But Grace White won't be remembered so much for her stats or her talent, but for making history at Red Lake, not once, but twice. Oh, we were terrible. Red Lake girls basketball had struggled forever. People called it a joke, playing in front of mostly empty stands every night. Grace started playing major minutes as only a seventh grader. They started getting better. But the worst was yet to come. It was very hard to, you know, see him suffer and having to go through what he had to go through. Two years ago, her little brother Aaron, himself an up-and-coming player, was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. It hit Grace especially hard. They were close. He was a basketball fanatic. He would be up at 6 in the morning, let's go, let's lift weights, come on, let's go, let's get in the gym, pushing me to be better. Aaron died just days before the season started. Grace dedicated the season to him and worked harder than ever. They fell a game short of reaching the state tournament, which only served to motivate Grace more. And this year, they finally did it. She finally did it, leading Red Lake to its first ever state tournament. He'd be so proud of me, and it's been a crazy ride. To finally get here has been, it's been surreal. It's really brought the community together. But not even this is Grace's greatest achievement. In November, nearly a year to the day since Aaron died, she signed a letter of intent to the University of Denver, becoming the first Red Lake athlete, male or female, to sign with the Division I college. I just hope it, you know, creates a little bit of hope for our girls and our youth in general. She means everything for, for the community. This gives you every reason to say, hey, it can be done no matter what your situation is, where you come from, where you live. I mean, it puts a little bit of pressure on me because, you know, everyone's watching what I'm doing all the time, you know. But at the same time, to show that somebody can make it and do it, definitely I wouldn't change where I came from ever. Um, I love my home and I love my reservation and I'm glad I get to be, you know, a face up there that gets, yeah, she's from Red Lake. David McCoy, WCCO for Sports. What an inspirational young lady. No kidding, series. talented. Good yeah. luck to her. Well, Red Lake lost its first game of the state tournament tonight. They will play in the consolation tournament tomorrow.